Now the construction and operating principle of combined arc leakage and phase fault protection system for power transformer. As you have already seen, arc leakage protection relay or core balance protection relay of power transformer cannot operate during phase to phase fault. This means if a fault or leakage occurs between phases, the core balance relay will not operate. Therefore, in the core balance relay system or art leakage relay system, one more relay which is overload relay is added. Due to this, this combined system which consisted of both art relay and overload relay, this combined system detect both art leakage fault as well as phase to phase fault. You can see the circuit arrangement of this combined art leakage and phase to phase fault protection system. There are three current transformer. One current transformer in each phase line. In this protection system, two overload relays or overcurrent relays are connected. This is overload relay, this is overload relay, or you can say overcurrent relay. And one art relay is connected for detecting art leakage fault and this overload relays work during phase to phase fault and art relay works during art leakage fault there is a current limiting reactor here you can see basically here there are two overload relays which are enough for detecting phase to phase fault the trip contract of overload relay as well as arch relay are connected in parallel. Since the trip contract are connected in parallel, this means if any of the relays, either overload relay or arch relay is energized, then the circuit breaker will be tripped. Now, how this combined art leakage and phase fault protection system operates during phase to phase fault let's say phase to phase fault occurs between phase r and phase y then the fault current flows through the overcurrent relay a we denote this overcurrent relay as a and reactor as b so for phase to phase fault between r and b phase the overcurrent flows through this way overcurrent relay A and through the reactor B. And due to the flow of overcurrent through this overcurrent relay, this overcurrent relay A or overload relay A will be energized. And due to this, the trip contact or moving contact associated with this overcurrent relay will connect with the fixed contact and therefore this trip circuit will be activated let's say one more fault occurs between phase r and phase v then how the overcurrent will be flows then the overcurrent will be flows through this overcurrent relay a and overcurrent relay c since the overcurrent flows, overcurrent or overload relay A as well as overload relay C, then both overload relay will be energized for fault between phase R and phase V. Right? And due to this, the associated moving contact, this contract and this contact will connect to the fixed contact. So this will be connect to the fixed contact as well as this moving contact is connected to the fixed contact and trip circuit will be activated for both relay a and v right this is how this protection system operates during phase to phase fault now how this art relay is activated in this combined protection system Let's say this winding is art. 
then what will be the sum of the three phase currents under normal operating condition or during phase to phase fault condition the sum of the three phase currents let's say this is ir this is iy and this is iv so under normal operating condition or during phase to phase fault condition the sum of three phase currents is zero but when there is some winding is grounded or arc the sum of this three phase currents is not equal to zero so there will be some current which will be flows through this arc relay coil right so before under normal operating condition or during phase to phase four there was no current flowing through this relay coil but when the sum of these three phase currents is not equal to zero there will be some resultant current and this resultant current will flow through this art relay coil and due to this this relay will be energized and the moving contact associated with this art relay connect with the fixed contact and this strip circuit will be energized finally this strip circuit activates the circuit breaker and faulty section is isolated from the rest of the section this is how the protection system operates during art leakage fault